Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how do you work with margins and margins plot in Stata. So margins or margin plots are a great way to visualize our regression or analysis. So let's load our data. In this case, we have this data set that is related to birth weight of uh, infants and different characteristics related to their mother. So let me their mother. So let me show you this data uh, set. Uh, so whether a mother is a smoker or non-smoker, their race, etc., etc. Now, if I can describe this data, you would see the variables that it contains. It contains BWT, which stands for birth weight. It is in grams. Then we have this categorical variable, which is race and smoke, or whether the mother smoke during pregnancy or not the race of the mother and the age of the mother. Now, these are the variables that we are going to work with in this video. So let's regress the birth weight on this categorical variable smoke. So whether a mother is a smoker or not and what's impact does it have on the birth weight? So if we execute the regression, uh, I'm not going to go into the details of these regression interpretation but what we see is that the smokers uh, the, the birth weight of a smoker mother is lesser than that of a non-smoker non mother now if you were to calculate create this uh, margins i mean the predicted values for each category there are two categories in this variable one is whether the mother is smoker or not uh, so so in this case we are going to create the margins plot for a categorical variable and if we were to predict the birth weight for a non-smoker, then we know that the omitted category is in the in the constant, in the intercept. Now, the, the, the average, the predicted value of the infant whose mother was not smoker would be uh, 3000 um, grams. Uh, and this is what we, we did it over here. What about the infant whose mother was a smoker so their uh, predicted value their predicted birth weight would be the 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 intercept term minus the uh, the the value for the smoker category if we execute this we get the predicted value the predicted birth weight is 2772 grams now this could had been done we did this manually but this could had been done using the margins command if we do if we write the margins command and space uh, the the categorical variable that we used in in the regression remember for this margins command to work we, we need to have the regression model executed it should be the recent command in our uh, in in our status memory otherwise you would not be able to use the margins command so margins smoke the categorical variable we used in our regression if we execute this we get the same predicted values as we got over here so for known smoker the birth weight and for smoker the infant's birth weight is the predicted values now these predicted values do give us a meaning but for a non-statistician we would like to give them information in some graphical way in visualization so for that we simply use the margins plot command and what it would do is it would take the margins data the data that had been generated from this margins command and plot it so this is how the plot looks like. We can see that we have this confidence interval over here and we can see that the birth weight of a smoker, this, this uh, y-axis contains the birth weight and the x-axis contain whether the mother is smoker or non-smoker. And we can see for a smoker, we have a higher birth weight, average birth weight. Now, if we didn't want it to see these, uh, these confidence intervals, then we could have used the no CI option and that would remove the the confidence interval similarly if we were interested in a bar chart rather than a line chart because these are categorical variables so we could have done a recast bar option and that would have given us this bar chart again we could have removed these uh, this confidence interval using the no ci option now let's see how do we do margins plot for a continuous variable in our data we have this age as continuous variable and we want to study what is the impact of age on birth weight. So let's use this regression where we regress birth weight on age and this coefficient gives us 
the idea that for each one year increase in because the age is in years each one year increase in age of the mother the uh, the, the age of the mother the the infant's uh, birth weight would increase by by 12 grams now if we wanted to calculate what if the mother's age is 18 what would be the predicted value or the predicted birth weight the forecasted birth weight according to our model then i could take the constant term uh, multiply the coefficient with 18 the value of the age variable uh, that for which i want to do forecasting and we get that the forecasted birth weight for a mother whose age is 18 would be 2880 uh this could have been done simply using margins command but because this is a continuous variable so we use this option at and we give the variable name which we are going to use should be equal to 18 so we it would calculate the margins or the predicted value for uh, when the age is 18 we get the exact same value as over here and we get the margins or the predicted value we could have simply plotted it but in this specific case the case this the plot would not give us a meaningful result but rather what we should do is create a margins plot for different values of the age so in this case let's say age is 18 or 25 or 30 let's calculate the margins for these three different level of age do remember when we calculate margins in this margins table it would not give us the age but it would give us the code so this one code stands for age of 18 2 stands for 25 and 3 stands for 18 uh, now if we take uh, these values and cre create a margins plot using margins plot command you would see that as the age increase the the uh, the average uh, birth weight also increase now in this case we just had three values what if we were we wanted to calculate uh, we wanted to make a graph uh, or create margin margins or margins plot for different values for example we want to start from 18 and with increment of 3 we want all the values all the predicted values till age 30 then we could have simply done uh, it like this and that would give us margins for these different interval and obviously margins plot now if we wanted to increment it by 1 you can either change it over here as 1 the increment as 1 or you could write it like this 18 till uh, till 30 and that would create margins for all the values starting from 18 till 30 now in these scenarios we just had one continuous variable or one categorical variable uh, what if you know in normal cases in general generally when we do regression analysis we would have continuous and categorical variable uh, both of them in our uh, in our regression model so let's discuss what if we have a categorical and a continuous variable in our regression model so let's say we have age and smoke as our as our uh, as our covariates now in this case if i wanted to calculate what if what is the impact uh, what is the predicted value of uh, or the predicted birth weight if age is 18 and the person is uh, if the person is in a, a non smoker in that case i would i would take these constant values and multiply it because it is for non smoker so we would omit these value now for margins what we are interested mainly in is margins now for margins remember for categorical variable we used this specific command and for continuous variable we wrote margins and after margins we had at so we combine both these ideas and that would give us the margins plot uh, or the margins now it would give us margins for each interaction of each of these categorical and continuous variable so for example at age 18 Uh, uh if the mother is a smoker non smoker and if a mother of is smoker so that one represents the first category the first uh, the first coded value of continuous variable which is 18 similarly when when the age is 21 uh what is the predicted value if the mother is non smoker or smoker and so on and so forth and we can simply use the margins plot command and that would give us the margins plot 
Now we could have done it exactly the, the other way, which we also discussed in the continuous variable case. Instead of having an interval, we could have just given different values. Now these are simple cases where we discuss how to create margins plot. Now I have made a series of around seven videos where I have discussed uh, in detail quite different cases. For example, if we have a two-way interaction, how do we have a margins plot? If we have an interaction of continuous and categorical variable, what if, we, what if we have two categorical variable or we have two continuous? Uh, and then I have also made a video on a three-way interaction where I have discussed how to make margins plot. If we have a continuous and categorical variable or all of our variables are continuous. Now, lastly, we can format these margins plot and there are different options, but I'm just going to use this scheme uh, and uh, this scheme would change it to the black and white scheme. Uh, and also I'm going to uh, remove the uh, remove the confidence interval and add a title over here. And that would give us a nice publication ready table that we can paste in it in our in our in our publication or manuscript. So I hope this video was useful. Do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon.